Okay, hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 Review. This is question 9b. We're supposed to find the exact value of the tangent of pi over 12. Now questions like this are, are almost always asking you to work with the sum and difference identities. Now, I like to write these things in terms of reference angles, but more importantly than that, I like to see these things in terms of degree. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be finding the ratio anyway, and whether you're in radians or degrees, the ratios are the, the same. So I would recommend, first of all, converting that into, into degrees. And that's just going to be the tangent of 15 degrees. Okay? So good. And that's even, that's a, already in terms of the reference angle, positive, that's fine. So all I got to do now is make my, my choice here. What two angles am I going to combine to get 15 degrees? Now, I could either make it uh, 45 minus 30 degrees, or I could make it 60 minus 45 degrees. Now, my advice to you, and this is based on, on experience, I would do it like this. I would make this the tangent of 60 degrees minus the tangent of 45 degrees, all over 1 plus the tangent of 60 times the tangent of 45. Now, the reason, oops, sorry, the reason I suggest that is because now, when you do the, the evaluating here, and you just go back to your unit circle, your special triangles. Tangent of 60, okay, is root 3. Tangent of 45 is just going to be 1. And then you're going to have 1 plus tangent of 60 is root 3. Tangent of 45 is 1. And there you go. If you choose to use 30 degrees and 45, well, the tangent of, of 30 is, can be written as either 1 over root 3, or root 3 over uh, 3. Either way, you're going to end up with fractions in there. I, this is just easier to work with because I'm still not done this. I mean, I could be. Some of your, some teachers might be satisfied with that. That's fine. But <clears throat> there will be other teachers there that are going to insist that this isn't done until it's been rationalized. And so now let's consider that. So I, we're going to come down here and I'm going to rewrite this just because I, I, like, I like it better when it looks like this. And order doesn't matter with, with addition. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to rewrite the denominator as root 3 plus 1. And now we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by the binomial conjugate of the denominator. In the numerator, that's going to get us, well, root 3 times root 3 is just going to be 3. Minus root 3 minus root 3, so minus 2 root 3. And then minus 1 times minus 1 plus 1. All over 3 minus 1. Okay, that's, well, we know that that's going to work like that. I don't even have to expand that out entirely because I know that these are binomial conjugates that those are going to cancel. Now, 3 and 1 will be 4 minus 2 over root 3. 3 minus 2, 1 is 2. And now I can distribute that 2 to both of these terms here. Now, I can't divide it into the root 3, but I can divide the coefficient out. Or in other words, another way to think about it is you can factor a common 2 out of here. But whatever you do, that, that division by 2 needs to be applied to both terms. Okay, It's the whole denominator being divided by 2. But all those terms have to be divided by 2. So that'll end up being 2 minus root 3. And that's the final answer we're looking for.